Hey gearheads and welcome to Garage Talk. I'm Corey and that is the 2024 Chevy Silverado 2500 HD ZR2. The most off-road capable Silverado HD on the market. I'm at the 2024 Houston Auto Show and in this video I'm going to take you on a quick tour. Stay tuned. Yes, gearheads, I am at the 2024 Houston Auto Show. Trucks are big here in Texas, and this is a big truck. This is the 2024 Silverado HD ZR2. So the ZR2 branding has been, uh, along with the Colorado, trickled its way up to Silverado, now to Silverado HD. Let's talk about what motivates this one first, and then we'll get into all the details of uh, the ZR2 aspect of it and do my best uh, to get this hood open on camera. Underneath the hood of this one is the same 6.6 .6 liter turbo diesel uh, V8 found in all HD pickup trucks, making 470 horsepower and 975 pound-feet of torque. You can also get a 6.6 .6 liter V8 uh, gas engine, making 401 horsepower and 464 pound-feet of torque. But this, let's face it, this is the one to get. This is the torque monster uh, with that 975 pound-feet of torque. Not quite up to what Ford is doing. Be sure and come back. We're going to be checking out an F-250 trimmer, which I would say is the biggest competition to this. That and maybe the Ram 2500 Rebel or the Ram 2500 Power Wagon. Those are the big off-road names in big off-road trucks. But you can see just how massive this pickup truck is. Okay, I'm 5'10". This is me coming up next to it. This thing is huge, like immensely huge to the point I can't reach <laughs> the cheater way. You have to come around to the side here to even get the hood closed. This, this is a big truck. As we close the hood on this one, I do want to take a moment to appreciate the style updated for 2024. This does get a new cleaned up, more refined look from the outgoing model. You get those updated LED running lights, updated LED headlights, updated look all the way around. And let's go ahead and talk some of the performance and capability of this one before we dive too much further into the tour of it. Let's talk some numbers though. Approach angle 32.5, breakover 21.2, departure 25.7, and 11.6 inches of ground clearance with a 159.1 inch wheelbase. This ZR2 package does give you a one and a half inch suspension lift over the standard, gives you 35 inch tall tires and an electric electronic locking rear differential, which really sets this thing apart against competitors like that F-250 Super Duty with the trimmer package, which really is more of an off-road package. Think FX4 on steroids versus this being a dedicated off-road vehicle more like that Ram 2500 Power Wagon. This is like a good hybrid of the two. We don't get a solid front axle like the Power Wagon, uh, but we get those DSSV Multimatic shocks and a lot of good off-road tech. So my question to you here, before we dive too far into this one, would you prefer this, the trimmer, with its more powerful diesel engine or that Ram 2500 Power Wagon, which really is an off-road beast with its solid front axle and a lot of really heavy duty off-road chops. As the off-road game comes to the heavy duty pickup trucks, who you got in your corner? And what makes this one special is its ZR2 package, the ZR2 suspension. So, like the 1500 over here, this one is the AEV Bison version. And like the Colorados before it, you get those Multimatic shocks and all that off-road hardware, uh, underbody protection, things like that. Starting up front though, you get this blacked out look, black lower bumper, blacked out grill, red tow hooks, red bow tie. This is not a flow tie, even though it looks like it should be. You do get this functional schnoz on the front of it. I just love the menacing look of this one. This thing is absolutely insane to look at. I cannot wait. I really, really want to test one of these and take one out to Barnwell and see what these are really made of. As we come back here behind the 
big 35 inch tall tires. You can see those DSSV Multimatic shocks. That's F1 style race technology here in a heavy duty off-road pickup truck. 35 inch tall uh, all-terrain tires or from Goodyear, wrapped around these black wheels. A very cool look, if I do say so myself. These are Territory MT tires. Very aggressive tread pattern here uh, with those ZR2 specific wheels. I don't know if you can see, but yes, ZR2 there on the wheels. Very awesome look. We get the power retractable running boards because of course you have to with a truck this big. Going with that gloss black theme, we get the gloss black paint here on the mirror caps, gloss black uh, door handles, and then a lot of flat black accents. The wheel arches are flat black. Uh, the bed step back here is also flat black. But uh, I mean, that's at my knee level just to get up here into the back of the bed. This is a all around massive pickup truck. You can see a little bit better here, those DSSV Multimatic shocks. Tuned, obviously, a little bit different than what we see in Colorado and Silverado, just because this is a heavy-duty pickup truck. And then coming around to the back, you get that multi-flex tailgate. Let's see if it actually works here at the auto show. Nope, they've got it locked up for the show. But I love this truck. This is a Texas-sized truck for Texas. And you can see here, we do have the window sticker. This one starts at 70,600. All the options here bring it to 87,360. Go ahead and put that on screen if you wanna scan it to learn a little bit more about this one. But we are gonna pop in. Much like the 1500s, we get that updated dash on the inside, all the updated uh, materials and looks. We get the yellow contrast stitching that has become synonymous with ZR2. But the interior here is the same as the 1500s, you get a uh, multi-way lumbar, multi-position seat here. Very nice heated and ventilated leather seats. Again, more of that yellow contrast stitching. We do get a grab handle here on the A-pillar and digital gauge cluster, full digital screen here, head-up display, tons of screen real estate here in front of you, digital rear view mirror camera, lots of tech in this off-road truck as well. You can see we do get a two-speed electronic transfer case. It's all controlled over your left knee here, all your lighting controls, all your head-up display controls, all your controls for uh, the screen right here are on the steering wheel. Because this is an HD pickup truck, you get a column shifter versus the electronic shifter from the 1500. I have noticed from my time in these pickup trucks with this updated dash that in certain positions, drive, uh, you do kind of block this screen a little bit with uh, the um, column mounted shifter. Uh, but you do get a lot of controls right here. Your exhaust brake, lane keep, parking sensors, drop your tailgate, hazard buttons, traction control, the fart button that drops all your windows, locking rear diff and hill descent control, all your climate controls, dual zone climate, heated and ventilated seats. I like that GM offers a heated backrest or a full heated seat and a ventilated seat option. There's your trailer brake control, your engine start button, and then uh, your center console, very large, very deep. You can hang file folders in here if you want to. Chi wireless charger right there. Dual glove boxes in this one. So you've got all kinds of storage. Standard size sunroof. It, Chevy General Motors does not offer panoramic roofs in their pickup trucks. That is one of the holdout features that they are uh, still not bringing to the full-size pickup trucks. Their SUVs have it, but interesting that they don't offer it here on their pickup trucks. Let's go ahead, come around to the back of this massive truck. Again, similar to the 1500s, just so much taller. This thing is way, way taller than uh, you are used to with pickup trucks. Uh, you do get a folding 60-40 split bench rear seat. No latches or levers. You just manhandle it, get it up there, it locks into place. And then you can manhandle it to get it back down. You do get a little bit of storage back here behind uh, each of the outboard seat backs. And then a fold down center armrest with a couple cup holders back here. We do get heated outboard seats with a little bit of USB power back here as well. Now, the real question is... How does this compare to, we'll go ahead and say that Ford F-250 trimmer. The trimmer is more of a package than a trim itself. You can add it to XLT and up. This really is kind of its own standalone model. 
torque numbers aren't quite the same, but if you want to know more about that, absolutely hit that subscribe button because we will be checking that out here on the show floor at the Houston Auto Show. If you want to see more from us, hit that subscribe, ring that bell, find us on all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, X, TikTok, YouTube, everything is at GT Garage Talk, or you can go to gtgaragetalk.com. But as for me, with the biggest Chevy Silverado that I could find here at the Houston Auto Show, until next time, gearheads. Bye.